Hello, my soccer universe. Please indulge me. I need to vent. I need to rant. I need to get some frustration off my chest. Probably not in the way that you would expect it to be. But where do we start? I'm wearing a black Austria shirt. Austria have released a special celebration shirt. 50 years Austria with Puma. Since 1974, Puma and the Austrian national team are in a partnership. And unlike the Argentina special jersey that celebrated 50 years of their partnership with Adidas. This is a true partnership because Argentina did not have Adidas all the way through. You know, they won one World Cup in Le Coq Sportif. They also have been with Reebok and so on. But 50 years ago, they were with Adidas for the first time. And that's what they celebrated there. It's a beautiful jersey. However, what Austria got out was truly special. I really love the shirt I came out with. It is based on the 1989 home shirt where Austria clinched their spot at Italia 90 with a very famous 3-0 over the GDR. Tony Polster scoring all three goals. Actually, that is one of the best Austria shirts, I have to say, that were ever released. But they now reversed the colors, made it in black with white pinstripes. And down the middle, there was an Austrian flag. And most importantly, the old Austrian crest. Actually, the coat of arms, if you would like, on a red, white, red shield make it stand out really nicely and I understand that they did it in black because it stands out a little bit more. Also the gold looks much better on black, although I probably would have wished for a white shirt. So they announced that one, I think the day they beat Kazakhstan or maybe the day uh, after. In any case, it was also announced that the national team will wear it on Sunday and then on Monday at 9 a.m. It will be sold to the public, but only in a limited edition 1,974 pieces, no, 1974, to celebrate that occasion. I really like that shirt. I have to say, the 1-1 one, one draw made it a little bit less attractive to me, but I think it's a really nice and a really nice looking shirt, and even the national team look quite nice in it. I especially like the color with the flag around. You know, I love a flag color. This one is great, you know, the red, red, red flag on a black jersey. It just looks good. I thought maybe that the strap down the center is maybe a little bit tacky, but hey, it's a great looking shirt. It will be special. I need to get in on the action. And I knew you better be on there at 9 a.m. and try to get it. And I knew there will be problems, of course, because many, many will do that. And the way that the Austrian television coverage was absolutely going crazy on the jersey. Yeah. There will be a big run on it. I thought maybe this abated a little bit with the 1-1 one, one against Slovenia, but I wanted to get in on that. I even had the okay from my wife. I said, this probably will be my Christmas present if I should get it. And I would even forego potentially the special jersey that Milan will release later this year. And I'm afraid about that one too. Because that one also looks quite nice. But this is Austria. This is my home country and the Austrian national team is at the moment really, really good. So very, very special. During the match I was even contemplating, should I get a name set on the back of it? And I kind of was between Gregoric and Baumgartner. Both did not do much in the game. But, you know, I think it would have added to that overall feel of the shirt as well. Seeing that customization costs 20 extra. I said, yeah, let's see what the price is. The price I saw already at 8.45 the shirt was up so it was 139.99 so you know 140 10 cheaper than i would have expected i pulled it in my cart of course you couldn't go to the checker data i think this was even at eight o'clock then i made myself an alarm for 8.59 have everything ready credit card everything ready the clock struck nine o'clock i pressed that button and it didn't go through Pressed a few more, I could enter my payment details, and then I pressed a few more, then the payment details went through. This was already 9.05, and I have not clicked the mouse button as often as I did in these five minutes. And then it just had the button, order. Clicked on the order button, did not go through. For the next 10 minutes, it didn't go through. Then it got through and said, yeah, there was a technical problem. Please try, try to try again a few minutes later. I did so. I did this four more times, you know, for about 35 minutes or so. I got only to that. I concluded the point that it was probably so sold out. I tried a little bit later and then, yeah, it was shown sold out. Okay, I tried. I did my best. Was I got it? Yes, but 
was it a do or die situation? No, it was not. So I quickly had the idea, yeah, would have loved to have this one, but you know, was not meant to be. Better things will be around. I have some quite nice shirts and you know, another black Austria shirt on the other side, you know, I have, I think three black Austria shirts now, one of which is quite special. And I think this one is also a player version. So um, I'm okay. I'm okay this this way. I, I anyway thought it's a little bit too expensive, but you know, because it's limited, would have been nice to have for once a limited edition jersey in my collection. As I said, I was okay that I didn't get it. However, it then all flipped in me. It was I think around 11, 11 30, and you know, I, it was kind of a slow day at work. I scrolled a little bit around on Facebook and they said, oh, the Austrian National announced, ah, all sold out. And then you see similar stories to mine. And yeah, this feels good. I even left a comment there and saying, you know, at 9 a.m. I tried to do it. It did not go through. Uh, server completely overwhelmed. Yeah, was not meant to be. Too bad. And I would have loved that they would have at least increased bandwidth or whatsoever. You know, do something better there. But then I read a comment below. I got two. And another cover. I, I guess you put it on Wilhaben slash eBay for a high price. And the guy below said, I bet I will. And that flipped something in me. I came home for lunch and then I checked Wilhaben and I see people are selling this shirt and you can get it in L, in XL, and so on at a price. I mean, the cheapest I saw was 300 but most of them 600, 1000 or whatsoever. And I'm thinking, you're the scum of the earth. Absolute scumbags. You're selling something that you don't even have in your hands yet because they're only selling with stock pictures. And for people like me, and I think many other fans of the Austrian Airstream slash collectors that actually would hold something like that dear, you wanna get the money of us now? Scum of the earth. Absolute scumbags. And this is why limited edition jerseys just do not work. The regular fan, even if he has the money, will not get one. This is stuff that will go to people that have probably all connections of all. So ever they buy a lot of them and then sell them on for a premium. And shame on the Austrian Football Federation and any other club national team and so on that does that, that A, allows multiple jerseys to be sold, multiple jerseys to be sold. When it's a limited edition, I think this should be at max one jersey per buyer. And to not make any, absolutely any precautions that something like this is happening. We saw it with concert tickets when bots just take this over. And I can very well see that maybe they did some bots because Intersport, at least here in Austria, I don't think they have anything to do that. And we saw this with concert tickets and other things as well. It's just annoying to the highest degree. But then also the idiocy of having a celebrity short. Yes, you don't need to produce it in vast numbers, but making it so limited that it sells out almost immediately. It's a great publicity stunt and you can proclaim, yeah, everyone wanted to have it and uh, you guys don't uh, get it. I think it's BS. It's absolute BS. So I honestly feel a little bit cheated out of the whole thing. As I said, I was fine at the point I didn't get it. Okay, I tried, I didn't get it. But if it was a fair game, I would be uh, more okay with it. But this is an absolute crap. And then that people get it and sell it on for an absolute premium. And the biggest idiots are the people that are buying it now for 600, 700 euros or so, or so on. I was even close to and decided, you know, let's not do it. But I really was close to just right to each and every person I will have that is selling it. I think there were at least 15 shirts listings that I saw. 15 at least. In L and XL. I was about to write them scumbag. Absolute scumbag. The other thing I thought, yeah, I can make an offer for 15 euros because you know, you know what I mean. So in any case, just wanted to vent this. I'm done with limited edition shirts. I'm really done because it, it just... Uh, 
Most of them are not even the great. This one was beautiful. This was probably one of the best Austria jerseys in a long time. Definitely better what they had produced uh, in recent years. I absolutely loved it, especially that they had the old style Austria crest. Yeah, was not meant to be. I would have loved to have it in my collection. For that price, I'm not gonna do it. I'm actually now gonna wait around and I'm sure, let's say three, four, five years down the road, it might actually pop up for a reasonable price because who is buying it for 600? Someone who is really desperate and thinks they make an investment there. You're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. Well, that was my rant, my quick telling of a little bit down story, but you know, I don't want to get down, but uh, what got me really down and more or less ruined my day is exactly those scumbags that put it up for that premium. In any case, I hope the Austrian Football Federation learns from that. No, they will not. They will not. We had something similar, I think, earlier this year, uh, early last year, when Rapid did something very similar. At least they had 18... 199 jerseys released and they were also sold out in almost no time uh, but they did it a little bit better because they also had in the physical store jerseys there yes physics had no chance uh, because you know I don't live in Vienna if I was living in Vienna I don't think the Austrian Football Federation even has such a store in any case I'm done with the church let's look up let's hope that Milan releases it in bigger quantities and I will get that one relatively quickly that's where the money will go now. And yeah, I missed out on, I think, the pretty Milan shirt last time around that also sold out rather quickly, those uh, pleasure, the Pleasures kit, although that hung around for a day or so. But the 150 seemed too expensive to me at the time. Now I have already made plans for it, so I might as well go through with that one. That's my experience. Did you have any experience like that? Please share, you know. Drop frustrations below. There are many more things that one can get frustrated about uh, when you're a collector. This is one of those. As I said, what about the bridge? In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon about more things, happier things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!